The following video assumes familiarity with maximum margin SVM and explains the soft margin SVM. On this graph, the violet and orange data points belong to the two separate classes. The data is linearly separable so it is possible to find a large margin classifier similar to the red line here. However, if we add a violet data point between and under the two orange data points, it will become impossible to perfectly separate the data with a hyperplane. Thus, the constraint optimization for finding the large margin classifier will become infeasible. To still be able to find a good separating hyperplane, we can relax the constraints by allowing for the errors, and then by trying to minimize these errors. Let's see how this changes the optimization problem. In the objective function, again, we want to maximize the margins, but at the same time, we minimize C times the sum over Xs. Xc is an error for each data point known as a slack variable. It measures the distance from the margin to the wrong side. For example, if we had this blue hyperplane, the slack of the violet data point on the wrong side of the margin would be as it is shown in red. Back to the objective function, C is a hyperparameter which controls the tolerance for the errors. Smaller the value of C, less important it becomes to minimize the errors. And higher the value of C, more important it becomes to minimize the errors. Now, let's look at the constraints. One inequality constraint looks similar to the inequality constraint from the hard margin problem, except in the soft margin, we subtract C from 1. This is the part which softens the constraints and allows for the errors. And there is another constraint to make sure we don't have negative errors. Now that we've stated the constraint optimization problem for finding the soft margin classifier, let's find it for the data shown on the graph. For optimization, we will use CVX pi. First, we define the data from the problem and a variable n, which is just a cosmetic to make iterations easy. Then, we define the variables for optimization. a, b, and c correspond to the variables for the hyperplane on the left in blue. s, l corresponds to the slack variables, and we also define c equal to 20,000. This is quite a large value, so optimization will have a big focus on minimizing the error. We then define the objective function, define the constraints, and feed the problem to the CVX pi. As a result of the optimization, we get the values for A, B, and C, so we can graph it. The blue line is a soft margin classifier obtained through the previous optimization.